struggling to come up with great names for the persons, peoples, and places in the world you created, well, there are many great methods you can use to do so. If the names aren't too vital for your story to create the feel you need, one can use real-world names. Names even like John or Matt could work very well in the right use. Or one could even look for less common and less well-known names. Names like Ethelred or Harold. So those can work really well as well. But remember, when using real-world names, it is best not to use real-world names of countries or peoples for countries or peoples in your world. Don't use names like Israelites or uh, the French or France for places in your world. Instead, create names that use similar methods using real-world names. Like you could use the name Josiahites or, or the Tummins. Names like that that work rather well. Also remember, your society inspired by the Norse and your society inspired by the Greeks and your society inspired by the Chinese should not all use Greek names like Orion, but use names all independent to themselves. Often it could be good to use names from the societies that inspired or are similar to the societies that you're giving those names to. One can also create names using real-world words that are not real names. Is there a city in your world that is built upon a high hill in the middle of a big empty plain? It could have originally been called the hill, and that could have transformed into Tahil or Phil. That's one way of creating names. You can take words that make the meaning of the name of the place or person and then combine them in a way to create a name. Like for a character, maybe the individual's name means war's soul or the soul of the god of war. That could become Warso or Varso as that is built up of war and soul. When doing this, remember your rules for different societies, and also it is wise not to use words from two different languages to create one name, but stick to words in the same language, so they have a similar sound to them. But also, for names of different societies, use different languages, use words from different languages. One can also build entirely acquired names by creating their own rules for those names, using the sounds they desire for them and constructing them, making sure that they follow the rules they come up with, but without creating an entire con lane. But remember, don't overdo it on special rules and acquired features of them. And remember why you're creating the names that's for your story, and your story is not for the names. Also, if one feels like doing it, or really desires to do it, one could build an entire con lane with even a nomiculture for it. And to do this, it would be very helpful to use the IPA, or International Phonetic Alphabet. And it is wise to understand how languages form and how they work. For more information on that, you can go to channels like Bibliarion and Stoneworks World Building, as they have many good videos on that. But here are a few good ways of coming up with names.